this video is sponsored by the gaming app MM Arcade. Every week you can win up to $1,000 by taking part in various beauty pageants. Download today to receive 3000 m cash to join any category of your choice. You can download MM Arcade from Google Play Store. Hello queens and princesses. Welcome to one of my favorite videos to make ever because in this video i just get to rant and rant and rant i already did this part one like i think it was two years ago back in 2019 and today i'm doing the part two and i know there will be part three part four part five because these people cannot just stop and let's start with tonto dk what is wrong with this woman it's like tonto dk doesn't learn tonto dk that has been dealt with by patriarchy is it not here that we all read of you know how tonto dk was abused by her ex-husband how she cried out and how nigerians just wrote her off as a frustrated and bitter ex-wife and while her home husband was collecting followers on instagram they were hailing him the man became even emboldened and tonto dk what did tonto dk do when busola dakolo called that fatou imbo as a rapist Toto Dike didn't participate, she didn't say anything, she didn't come out to show support. And perhaps it's because, well, Busola didn't support her when she was going through her own. Then, this same pastor celebrated his birthday sometime later. And Toto Dike wrote an epistle of a commune to celebrate this man. This man that was called out for being a sexual predator, a rapist, a man that has defied all the rules of Christianity is the man that Tonto DK puts on her Instagram and was showering with praises. A man who doesn't have any regard or respect for women. Like what is wrong with this woman? Not to mention the time I called Bobriski out on his continuous disrespect of the female sex of how this man thinks that he can just wear female clothing come on the internet and be spewing nonsense thinking that he knows women just because he can rub makeup and put a, a front lace lace front wig <laughs> please I'm sorry I'm not an expert on his head eh? and Tonto came there to defend him as if waiting me they talk na rubbish you know there are women that i no longer feel pity for and there are those women that even though they don't chop their own beating from the system they still defend that system they can't help it they pick me in them is too much i understand that years of indoctrination cannot be erased by one single traumatic event but sometimes just sit down and think don't you sound stupid don't you sound like a hypocrite don't you even feel guilty towards other women how did Tonto DK feel when she came out and praised Fato Imbo after he had been called out for raping a 17 year old girl and this is the woman that will say that she supports the girl child that she supports other women what sort of support does she support? And the other one is Fuke Akindele. Quite some few things have happened that involved Fuke Akindele. And there's another topic that I'll be dealing with in future. But for now, I want to talk about Fuke's decision to disregard COVID rules and host a party in her house. You are a celebrity. You enjoy privileges that we mortal humans do not get to enjoy. We are mortal, they are immortal. Because even after they have died, their names will remain engraved in the history of humanity in Nigeria. You are endangering people's lives by hosting a party during a time when the pandemic was at its peak. That is when people were dying like flies. I believe the problem in Nigeria is that we do not keep record. And so the very accurate figures of the number of people that were truly affected by the coronavirus. 
because the way people go about saying that oh it is not real it is just a different type of malaria you can tell that we are not really giving out information the way we should Funke was totally irresponsible and yes she was arrested and yes she was taken to court and yes she apologized and for that reason we are going to give her a pass <laughs> even though we already mentioned her in this video we say Funke you are forgiven up to the next one Naira Marley concert so Naira Marley decided to go and host a concert okay let me just say I have one Naira Marley song that is a uh, soapy it's the same issue with Funke Naira Marley was even at Funke's party I believe so this guy doesn't learn at all even he too was arrested taken to court and later he came out and apologized or did he apologize or did he even say that uh, the rules are different for people just because it is Naira Marley that is why you are taking me <laughs> okay this guy you don't you don't you don't have sense. What do we even expect from someone that comes on Twitter to say that he is always high? Hmm? Anita Joseph. I did support Anita Joseph when she had issues with Uche Lendo. However, today I'm calling out because she is disgraceful. So, Anita Joseph thinks that marital rape is not rape because the moment you agree to marry your husband, you have given him consent over your body any day, any time. Like you can just be doing your business, your husband can just come tear your clothes and have sex with you there. And you're not supposed to say anything about it because, you know, he has paid your bride price. Now your head and everything about you belongs to him to do as he pleases. And even when her husband was trying to correct her, she still wouldn't listen. Anita herself now, woman. So Anita one time he said that every time where your husband won't do, she agree. Eh? Anita know they tired, Anita know they sick. And it's know they get those days where he be say she don't even want me person near him at all. So she don't even see herself as human being. Where if he say no, I don't want. If you don't even have empathy for your fellow woman, have a bit of self-love. Unless Anita is a hypocrite. You know, my own is different. I am better than other people. I am special. So the rules don't apply to me. And that is bad. Really, really bad, Anita. Victoria and Yama. So there was a time Victoria Yama used to be like one of the hottest Nollywood actresses. Then she fell off the map. And these days she's been appearing on Insta blog all the time. Mostly because she's vomiting nonsense. Victoria Yama believes that indecent dressing is the reason behind rape. And I knew right then that the woman is an Olodo. And she became a bigger Olodo during the NSAS protest. Victoria did not come out to say that the reason why SARS are harassing men up and down is because of the way men are dressed. Even though, well, SARS are trained to profile people based on how they look. So if you are carrying dreadlocks or you look like, I don't, I, I don't know, you look irresponsible according to Nigerian standards, they will stop you and harass you. But Victoria Yama did not say that. Because Victoria Yama is a pick me. Even that stupid comedian, what's his name? Josh Tufani. Josh Tufani agreed with her. And then Josh Tufani joined a campaign against rape. <laughs> Do you think that just because you are famous on Instagram, then now you have the influence or whatever that you can say one thing and do another thing i'm just supposed to say oh oh it's just too funny he has like over one million followers screw you just too funny and just too funny recently got engaged and they showed pictures of his fiance she was not dressed decently according to nigeria standard so just too funny wants to tell me right now that if a man should behave like a goat towards his fiance He's going to tell his fiancée that, oh, you shouldn't have worn a dress this short, you brought it upon yourself. Of course he will not. Because these men have a way of protecting their own. They protect their mother, sisters, uh, wives, girlfriends. But when it comes to the rest of us, the women that don't matter to them, the women that are not useful to them, they will find a way to blame us. Screw you again, Josh Tofani. Mona Lisa Chinda. I've already spoken about Mona Lisa Chinda in my first video. And I said that she's a disgrace. She's an utter disgrace. Mona Lisa Chinda still went and agreed with Victoria Yama. This woman doesn't learn. You know, I believe that Mona Lisa Chinda belongs to the category of those women that are particularly wicked. Maybe we are used to see Mona Lisa Chinda as a sweet person because of her looks. But something tells me that that woman is wicked. 
She doesn't have love or regard for other women at all. Like a woman who came out and said that women are responsible for 50% of domestic violence when she herself was a victim of, of domestic violence. What do you think of that woman? I can never think of Mona Lisa Chin as a good person. To me, she is wicked, categorically wicked. Last but not the least, Bobriski. Bobriski is an utter disgrace. He was a disgrace in my first video. He is still a disgrace now. Because at the end of the day, Bobriski is a man. And he's a misogynist. He indulges, swims, bathes in male privilege. Bobriski is as audacious as any man can be in a patriarchy. And that is why he says the most ridiculous and the stupidest things and says them without any regard whatsoever. He doesn't care whose ox is God. All Bobriski cares about is having an audience, followers, people cheering him on, people to collect giveaway. That is why Bobriski does nothing but promote sex work as the only way a woman can make it in Nigeria. But Bobriski will open his mouth and tell me that he's better at being a woman than me. Mavis, show Rieti Daru. Is that how they say it? Eh? Rieti Fokasibe. This man is not normal. Ha. Huh. Anyway, Bobriski these days is really, really annoying people. It's not just me as a woman or as a feminist that he's annoying. Even the transgender community, the LGBTQ community, they cannot stand him. Because the guy is a clown. Imagine telling people that the only reason why he wants to become a woman is because he wants to make money. That is not the reason why, you know, transgender people are transitioning. They are transitioning because inside of them, they feel like they are of a different sex. They are not interested in the material gain. They are not interested in putting up a show. They are not interested in being, you know, admired, revered, or followed by millions of people on the social media. But Bobriski is commercializing their struggle and using it to make money. And it is absolutely wrong. The way this man is using the female sex, he's now using the transgender movement to enrich his pockets. How much of this disrespect can we take? Anyway, today, let me just stop here because I'm having a migraine right now. And if I keep on going like this, my head might just explode. Um, perhaps it will be a good thing so that at least I will not object when a man tells me, Mavis, I want to be your head. <laughs> anyway, my queens and princesses, that is all for today. I will see you in my next video. Do not miss me too much. Bye-bye.